Parkinson's disease is one of a large number of protein misfolding diseases that are associated with protein misfolding and aggregation of specific proteins, particularly for Parkinson's disease, alpha-synuclein um, tends to misfold and form this um, oligomeric structure that then mature into um, insoluble fibrils that are the hallmark of the disease and um, accumulate in dopaminergic neurons. And those are uh, characteristic of um, plaques in the brains of Parkinson patients. At RISE, we've been trying to develop model systems to study Parkinson and particularly to study aggregation of alpha-synuclein in cells. And our goal is to try to study protein aggregation within cells so that we can understand how then how we can develop therapeutic strategies to prevent accumulation of disaggregates or to enhance clearance of aggregates from the cells. Actually when alpha synuclein aggregates is formed like a, a spaghetti fibril like structure. Uh, the problem is that these fibrils are like a one million times smaller than for example a computer cable or a small rope so you cannot see them uh, with your naked eye. So to, to compensate for that, what we do is to develop probes that will allow us to interrogate a system uh, to see if uh, they are proteins in the fibrillar or aggregate state. So we develop these kind of compounds, the routinium compounds, which are not fluorescent or not photoluminescent when the non-aggregated protein is in the system, but they present a very strong photoluminescent when uh, the protein aggregates. And so what happens is we think that this ligand here is interacting with the, the alpha synuclein fibril. And when it's uh, just floating around in, in buffer solution, uh, the, it, it sort of appears dark in our system. And when this, uh, this part of the, the molecule is, is interacting with the fibril, it's sort of changing the, uh, the, the photophysical properties of the compound and it allows it to light up and it, it sort of fluoresces. And so that's, you know, so we're sort of taking advantage of the fact that you know, when, when this part of the molecule is in water, it, it's totally dark. And when this part of the molecule is in a different environment, like a, a fibrillar protein or certain types of solvents, it, it lights up and it's a very sort of brilliant sort of reddish orange color.